Hi friends, in this window we have seen earlier how to expand the widgets by both in horizontally, vertically. When you are expanding this you can see the frames. We have used different frames in left, right, center, top, bottom. All the frames are expanding. But the widgets in this whatever we have placed they are not expanding. Now let's close and open another application. So here you can see, let us me run this. Here you can see there are two buttons are here. So once I am expanding this one. This, in these buttons, I will try to expand this. Sorry, it has expanded more. Let me minimize this. When I am expanding horizontally, it is expanding and was the buttons. I am vertically also. Now, like that, if I will pull the uh, adjust both horizontally, vertically also, these buttons are expanding along with the window. We will learn how to do this. We will start from here. This is our blank template. We will place two buttons here. First, start with b1 equal to tk dot uh, button. Now, my parent window is my underscore w as line number 2. We have declared it. So, some text will write it over that. So, button 1. So, to make it prominently visible, we will say that big, uh, background color bz equal to uh, light pink you can give uh, any color so and slightly higher size font we will use so font equal to 14 so now our button is uh, ready let us place it on the grid so b1 dot grid now row equal to 0 I am giving the first row at the top so that is what and column equal to 0 the first column now slightly pad x uh, means I am not flushing with the left edge pad x is 10 pad y equal to 10 and the most important what is tick this in this in this we, I am saying declaring that take the all available uh, space in the four directions so I am saying north south east west so n s e w means expand it in all the four directions so this is important without this the button won't expand it. So, actually I can align it in the north, south, individually I can align. Once I give the all the four direction, it will expand it. Now, let me just copy this. Uh, plus it because I will have a second button. So, I will give this name as B2. Let me say B2. Now, button here text I am changing to 2 again. Now, this again I will say yellow background I am changing font I am keeping the same row uh, 1 next below row I am putting same column I am giving pad x pad y and sorry here I have to make it uh, b2 fine now my button is placed on the grid let us just see how this looks without anything but you see it should expand it yeah you you can see this this is available whatever the space is available because the rest space we are not saying anything because we have not given any alignment to this uh, weightage to this so or we have not given any row configure so the button whatever the available space is there it has expanded and this is without any row configuration let's add the row configure so here you are my underscore w my parent window now row configure so row configure which row the first row I am saying 0 now weight now wh what is the weight I am giving here I am giving here 1 means 100 percent weight as I am giving suppose 2 rows I am giving 100 percent then it will be distributed 50 50 I can proportionately I can change this one it by default this weight value is 0 means do not give any configuration let wizards take uh, the row takes its own uh, space so once I am giving 1 means it let it expand okay so now let's just see how this one will look like now let's let me just uh, run this and yeah here you see because now i have given a row configuration but it will it expand in the horizontally it is not because i have not given i have given row configuration okay let's see vertically then you, you can understand that now watch this button 1 is expanding but button 2 is not expanding and it is expanding in the vertical direction horizontally it is not because we have not given any column configuration let us close this and what you will do we will add uh, my underscore w and again row configure will this time will give to, to the uh, first row uh, first second row or one row because we have started from zero index and 
way to this also we are giving one so now the second button also will expand but why it is not expanding horizontally because we are not allow we are not allowed the row to expand to uh, occupy the balance space because row configuration we have not given now let's just give that my underscore w now column configure so column we have one column only so zero column now the, we are giving weight equal to uh, one so we are allowing the our uh, a column to expand it so both directions now in row wise and column wise it should expand so let's just see that what way it is uh, affecting okay e i here i must correctly write this okay weight is one now let's see you can see this now let's we are horizontally expanding because we have allowed the column to expand line number 14 is allowing this now vertically also it will expand we, along with both the buttons will expand say this both the buttons are expanding because we have configured row number one also to expand now if i'll uh, change this one if i remove one any one of this will say I am removing the second widget or column can anything I remove say I am removing the second widget so it will not expand now the second row will not expand now you can see here even though I am row a column will expand fine but vertically it will not expand the second row button 2 is yeah, you can see only it expanding button one, button two is not expanding because that way by row configure I can add the weight and accordingly it will wait. Now let's see why adding one more element how we'll do it. Let's include this also, so we need not remove this and let's add a entry box here. So E1 equal to TK, this is the entry box I am going to add entry now what's the parent window is my underscore w so that's one and it's, uh, slightly busy let's put some uh, bg equal to light yellow now i can give a higher size okay that's not let's not give let's leave it the default one there is uh, nothing now let's place it on a grid so e1 dot grid row equal to zero now we are not changing the the first row and column equal to 1 so right of it now pad x equal to 10 and pad y equal to 10 now here i must use the you can see what what i am using it's stick option the stick option i have to stick option i am giving it <coughs> n s e w means north south east and west in all the direction yeah, okay here i must give a equal sorry equal to 10 so i must give this option without this it will not expand two things are required for expanding one is this option because this allow the widgets to expand in the four direction and the respective row and column weight must be relatively it should not be zero but by default it is zero so these two conditions are there but right now you see i am not given any row column configured to the first column so what will happen now now when i'm once i am running this let me just yeah you can see here this is here it is and <clears throat> it has taken okay because i have allowed it to expand it so accordingly now let's just see uh, how far it will expand see buttons are expanding but this column is not expanding because i have not given any uh, weightage to it and row wise it is expanding the reason is there is uh, only all the both the two rows uh, we have given the row configuration so first row there is a uh, we have given the weightage here you can see the first row or the line number 15 weight is one that is the reason this entry box is also expanding now say we we don't we want the entry box also to expand in such a case let's just close this and uh, column configure i am just copying this testing it again and saying that column one also you expand so now let's just see how it will be because that way i can particular widget i can also manage so row wise and column wise now let me just drag it 
both direction C. Now this is expanding because now it is 1 1 so button is not allowed to take full speed. Now accordingly the my button is expanding and vertically anyway vertically because of the our uh, <coughs> vertical uh, this thing is because of row configuration expanding and column configuration will be giving it horizontal because column expands in horizontal direction and rows expands in vertical direction so that is the reason so this component now you may think is that how i will expand the front inside for that for that we may have to use because already we have discussed one zoom tutorial is there i leave the links actually two tutorials is important here one is the basic one about the weight that i leave it in the comment section and another one one text box we have fun to have zoomed these two if you in, uh, add after this if you see you will able to understand how the individual options can be managed with the uh, increment or decrement or while zooming it that's all this was a question asked so thought better to make it clear that how the components also will expand along with the window and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching